explosive device injures a 16 year old girl and she is the second child injured in two days by explosives. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live at Einstein Medical Center with an update on that teen's condition. Howard, another sad story here this morning. It really is a sad story. However, the girl was conscious when she was brought here to Einstein Medical Center last night. She did end up losing her foot. However, she is expected to survive. It's a real tragedy. A tragic situation on the 5500 block of Blakemore Street in North Philadelphia. An explosive device is detonated and a 16 year old loses her right foot. The last report we have is that most of her right foot is gone. And we believe this all occurred from an explosion inside of the private residence. Detectives say the girl was visiting friends when the explosion occurred at about 8.30 Wednesday night. Two other teenagers were with her at the time. The explosion was so powerful it blew a hole in the floor. There's a large hole in the floor, about a foot square, that actually blows open a hole into the first floor. You can see from the second floor down to the first floor. Detectives say they aren't sure what kind of explosive device it was, but say it was surely illegal for them to have. This comes just a day after a 12 year old boy severely injured his hand in Kensington. That blast was so powerful it was heard from blocks away by police on patrol. He is still hospitalized at St. Christopher's Hospital and is going to need additional surgeries to repair the damage. Now, police say both the 12 and the 16 year old are expected to survive. Now, part of their investigation is now going to be to try to figure out exactly how these children got their hands on these explosives. Live in North Philadelphia, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Wow, so lucky to survive that, Howard. Thanks so much.